Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is crashing minus 6.62% right now. It is a very, very sharp drop and it is dropping way more than the indices. The S&P minus 1.29%, the Nasdaq minus 2.72%. So Tesla today is very, very bearish. What's more, we are losing support levels and it feels like it is totally hopeless. It is just crashing and there is nothing that can help us over here. But I think we do have some very important key points to keep our eyes on because Tesla could reverse, okay? It, it, it really could, but we must see some confirmation first. Uh, I will give you guys more details in this video. Just remember, my friends, click on the like button to support this channel. If you're new around here, just subscribe because I'm here every single day to update you guys on Tesla and on other stocks. All right. Now, this movement on Tesla is quite weird. It is quite weird because we see this is the daily chart. All right. We see very, very sharp drop. It's doing lower highs, lower lows, crystal clear bear trend. And uh, right now, yesterday we hit the support level at this red line, $650. And, uh, and uh, we saw a very good reaction. It did react well. But today it is frustrating yesterday's bullish reaction and uh, we are back to bear mode. All right. It, it, so this is why I'm telling you guys, it feels nothing can help us over here. But if we look at the indices, the indices are not that horrible at all. I mean, the S&P is still above the previous support level at 38.58. If you look at the one hour chart, we are way above May 20s bottom. Unlike Tesla in the one hour chart, which is at May 20s bottom right now, the S&P is clearly above that price level and we are already reacting. If I didn't know any better, I would just tell you guys that, okay, the S&P right now is dropping today to retest the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, a crystal clear support level. And right now we are bouncing back up as usual, right? As normally happens after we retest the 61.8% retracement. And the S&P is now trying to become bullish again. What's more, we are trying to trigger this pattern over here, an inverted head and shoulders chart pattern. We are trying to trigger this pattern. The pattern was not triggered yet, but if we do trigger it, I do believe we're going to fly to the 4K again. In addition to this, we have an open gap today. If this gap is going to be filled tomorrow or by Wednesday, I do believe this is going to be an exhaustion gap and that uh, this reinforces our idea of, of an inverted head and shoulders on the S&P and this is going to drag the entire stock market up. Tesla will probably benefit from this movement as well. So this is one of the few things that can actually help Tesla over here. Okay, a bullish thesis on Tesla right now at this moment because Tesla alone is clearly bearish and it is bearish in a weird manner. This is not that normal. When we analyze the S&P over here, it is okay. It is just fine, right? It is a normal drop, a natural movement. Now we are bouncing back up. If we lose the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, okay, we are not going to turn bullish, bullish right now. We will probably retest the 38 hundreds over here and this is it, okay? But for now, the reaction is Okay, it is accordingly to what the technique says it's plausible to happen. The Nasdaq index is a little bit more bearish than the S&P. We are retesting again the 11.1K, which is this black line down here. We hit this point over here. We retested again on May 20. And right now we are retesting again today, May 24. That's okay. It is a crystal clear support level. Only if we lose 11.1K, we are going to turn really, really bearish again. But as long as we stay above that point, it feels to me it is just a congestion on the Nasdaq index. However, Tesla is not looking like this. Tesla is clearly bearish. It lost the support level from May 12. 
the $680. And right now, we are slightly below May 20's support level at $633. $3302. That's the exact number we should look at right now. So this green line is a crystal clear support level for us. If, if Tesla actually closes today above 633, I do believe we will see decent chances of recovering and following the indices, filling this little gap over here because just like the Nasdaq index, which is doing this gap over here, just like we have a gap on the S&P as well, uh, this gap on Tesla could be an exhaustion gap. But in order to be a true exhaustion gap, we must fill this gap tomorrow or by Wednesday uh, max, all right? So right now, we have an open gap. If you fill it, great. We will have decent chances of reversing. What does that mean? It means that we could break the $680 again, which is, as I told you guys yesterday, the most important resistance level for Tesla right now. Only if we break this black line, 680, we are gonna turn bullish again. But we gotta wait for the breakout of this point, okay? We will have some signals if Tesla starts to react, right? If it closes above the green line, if it fills this gap, then okay, the odds of a breakout of this black line are going to increase nicely. But uh, as long as we stay in this area, there is nothing interesting going on in Tesla. It is just bearish, you guys. There is nothing that can actually help us over here. We do have some interesting signals on the S&P, on the Nasdaq, but Tesla must follow the indices and it must trigger the right patterns. If you ask me, personally speaking, I do believe Tesla will trigger the right patterns, okay? I do believe Tesla will become bullish again. But for now, we just gotta wait for the breakout of the black line 680 that's the most important key point why and uh, if we break it where could it possibly go well as i told you guys yesterday this point was a crystal clear support level over here on may 12 it, it was a support level again on, on on may 20 we lost the support level and right now it is working as a resistance for us over here so it is the most important key point for us to watch if we break 680 I do believe Tesla will trigger a mid-term reversal in the daily chart as well and fill the gap at 858, okay? It's gonna trigger a mid-term reversal in the daily chart just above the support level at 650. So this thesis makes sense, all right? It does make sense. However, we must wait for the right breakout. Right now, let's watch for this line carefully for today and for the rest of the week because Tesla might be quite interesting again. Let's just hope for the best right now. Let's see how it's gonna react. I will keep you guys updated every single day. So remember, subscribe to this channel, keep in touch with my daily analysis. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe, farewell.